back round two has arrived it has we got k nut on some zoo and matt wise on some wizards Ooh, wizards is probably not gonna have very much fun against a uh hexproof scion and draco because <laughs> mm. that's yeah. what's gonna happen here <laughs> seems like a thing Nope, no. He oh, didn't. he didn't keep a uh, ley line hand. Okay. I feel like you now that that's the thing, you just mulligan once, right? At least. Yeah, I mean, I don't see wh why you, you have don't. it if you're unless, not going to try. Unless you just got like a nut hand on its own. I mean, he is K nut, so maybe he does. Yeah, <laughs> it's a K nut hand. Yeah, I feel like you just mulligan once at least, <laughs> if this is what you're doing. I'm honestly just, I it would be hard for me to get any kind of excitement about main decking a ley line. Ugh. I get power and stuff, but yeah, God damn man. You so you're gonna draw I, all four I have of it. main decked ley lines before, but it's a very specific card, and it was a very wacky deck, but it was fun. It was actually fun as shit. All right, we got a Ragavan turn one from K Nut. Monkeys in the zoo. All right, we're gonna see a bolt for said monkey. Get that shit out of here. I assume it's just a steam vents. But yep. it is. Tis events. All right. Does he have the Kavu to follow up? I think that's one of the, the sweetest cards in Zoo is that Kavu. I really like that guy. The what? The Kavu. The, oh. What turns into a 5-5 five five for two. That on attack you loot or you eat cards out of graveyards. Oh yeah, that guy. That guy's really fucking sweet. It's not having here because he's got a Jeskai mana up. What is he doing with Jeskai? I have a I have a hard time. Like ever since um, you know I hate creatures anyway, but uh, <laughs> dash rag. Ever since they uh, did the uh, the dress down. I would have a hard time putting a star. star oh no, in yeah, my deck that's <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. It's very true. Yeah, we had that conversation about uh, me wanting to rebuild Dungrove because <laughs> uh, yeah. of that. You know, like uh, 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 I'm Ron. Uh, this is just the the fairy thing, right? Yeah. You know what? Like, if you don't have better things to do, you got a treasure. I, you might. I well think. Cast this I agree. Then. I think you may as well do it because I mean, it's just, just going to get bed better later. Like, oh, he's just letting it go. I don't know, man. You're like creature aggro deck. I'd cast that fucker. You have access to blue? Yeah, I don't know. What is he? I wonder if he's like trying to set something up. I would have totally cast it. I agree with you, Dustin. I mean, not really. He's got a bunch of lands. In a land yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what the reasoning was. I don't know either. It's weird. I mean, he wasn't holding anything up. Bizarre. We'll have to ask. And that's going to get counterspelled. No monkey for you. Yeah, see? Like, oh, man. I don't know. That's weird. No wonder. I wonder. Fetch for maybe a Triome? 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 Probably Triome. I say Triome. I think it's, it's probably Triome because, like, I know, like, Biome is the pronunciation of that so i think it's try buy to, to i don't i really just uh, when it comes to magic card pronunciations i like to go with what i'm comfortable with <laughs> right well that's that's because, not like a, uh, that's not like a made-up thing though. Heard, it's like a sign it's well actual... no no but like what i'm saying is like i've heard these like wizards design team like recently even like earlier today and it's like i remember from back in the day that uh kalitas is uh, right. is pronounced kalitas which is right. stupid because nobody calls it that yeah. And then uh, the other one that the one I heard today is that uh Sylvan Caryatid is how it's pronounced. Sylvan Caryatid. I mean, nobody says that. No, I mean it's Caryatid, which is like essentially the same thing but just a different inflection. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think the, the I've always said karyotin. The iomes is a triome. Because biomes are two environments and a triome would be three environments. Yeah. Here's an expressive. Looking at a preordain there. I think a, uh, what is that? I missed what that card is he put in his hand. Maybe a Lorian? It was a very busy artwork. Oh, it's uh, a tide binder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That is busy artwork. <laughs> the Tidbinder. So this looks to be just Is It Wizards. Is it Wizards? <laughs> yeah, it is totally Is It Wizards. He's been a fan of the Is It Wizards. My friend Dane just sent me a picture of a... Uh, guy with a monster tattoo on his chin That's listen to five finger death punch once you know monster tattoo on your chin <laughs> <laughs> i think that's usually how that goes that's pretty funny <laughs> that's a good meme yeah five I finger douche. death punch yeah <laughs> that dude's gonna get punched in that tattoo so many times in his <laughs> life <laughs> all right swinging in with a five three getting fucking aggro oh yeah Another five dome to the face. Well, is it wizards? No ley line needed for this beatdown. Best card in modern right there. Cattle. Needs to be banned. Well, Matt's got a lot of cards in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Can it make him not die? I don't know if that's the case. Uh, Feel like he's pretty dead. Played out of land as if... He wanted to do more. Yeah, ooh, so ooh, he does have a play here, John. Actually, he can kill this, and then he can gain control of... He's got an Archmage's Charm. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. so he's still alive. Yeah. Until Ron something. untaps and burns his face. <laughs> yeah, until he draws a tribal <laughs> flames. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, all right. There's something. I love Archmage's Charm. I know, charm. so do I, dude. Since I finally got to play... Dude, I tried, I tried so to... Fun. Last week, I played cards here and i tried to play the new one the wizard one yeah and it's so much worse than archmage's charm yeah. it's so much worse and like i find you're you're like chasing the dragon trying to get the value out of it with the wizards and right no for sure archmage's charm is is a house once i finally started playing blue again it's it's been a blast to play i've enjoyed the fucking shit out of it it's great with Snapcaster Mage, too. Oh, it is. It feels so good. <laughs> you feel bad countering a spell with it because it's just like cancel. Yeah. But, but like, if you can cancel something now, but then, then draw later Snapcaster oh, yeah. and draw two it's cards, it's like, oh. It's fantastic. The value. All right. I'm going to put a preordain in exile. Randy, I thought you were coming in at seven. What happened? Son still got your truck. All right, Ron's got Leyline Binding. Oh, there's that too. Oh, uh. So Leyline Binding first to get the blocker out of the way, and make him counterspell. And then kill him. <laughs> and that's what he's doing. Smart. Yeah, and he says, well, you know, I just went, I went ahead and drew this card this turn, so, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're just going to murder you. Nice sequencing. Nothing, uh, nothing feels better than murdering somebody with a Tribal Flames. I miss doing that, actually. That was one of my mm. favorite things in Magic. Just Tribal Flames, Tribal Flames. God, that mm. felt good. Yeah, you think you're... you're Nothing turning, feels better. <laughs> you're thinking you're turning the corner at nine? Well, I have two tribal flames, so you're not turning any fucking corners. Blah, blah. <laughs> it's good stuff. All right. Game two. See if we can see some uh, sideboards and stuff. Some EEs. Matt's bringing in the uh, pick your poison, I think, on account of the ley line. Oh, does he have the pick your poison? 
I just saw a couple. Like, I think I saw a couple. Oh, so he's just splashing green just for the sideboard? Like, uh, I think that's what other people a number of people are doing, yeah. It's a cheap, efficient answer. Yeah. Also good against Murktide. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good against a, a number of things. It's a pretty solid little card, really. And honestly, like, in that situation, if they happen to, like, I don't know, I don't I would probably, if, if they, you know, open with a ley line and turn two Draco and it goes to you and they don't have any other board, like, I'd probably just make them sack the Draco instead of sacking the enchantment, you know, at that point. Works the same. <laughs> but, I mean, then all their other shit gets bigger. But you should have answers for those. I heard the, the LSV was saying the tech for the deck is, oh, I can't remember what the name of the card is, but you bounce all green permanents to their owner's hands or whatever. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just bounces everything. It literally yeah. just bounces their whole board, and then they'll probably right. never be able to afford to play the ley line out again. So Yeah, depending on what you're playing. I mean, it's it's not that much to cast, and it's easy as fuck. I mean, it's four mana, so it's a turn of you yeah, tapping no, out it's, to it's, do absolutely well, nothing. Well, and that's what I'm saying. It's a matter of the kind of tempo that you have. Yeah. If you bounce their shit, if you can present enough, you know, aggression to make it that a bad play. But it, if you, it does time walk them, basically. Yeah. If you if you do that, though, and you don't have great aggression to, like, follow through and get to just play it anyway in a safe space, yeah. then it's not quite as good. But so it all depends on circumstance. But I do, like modal one mana answers and i think pick your poison is definitely like a it's pretty okay sideboard card it's fucking efficient it's definitely efficient all right let's see if ron starts with the start see if matt gets what he needs Uh, no light on on Ron's end. Doesn't look... I think I see a stubborn denial, maybe. So Matt working with bolts. Matt's probably not going to keep his hand because it's a one-lander. Let's a, a, see a if we can a... see Ron's hand here. Bring his up since he's actually holding it out nicely for us. Stubby, stubby, land. Tribal. I think that's a lane line. Oh, he put a dice out there to let him know. He will not risk the one-land hand. I would risk the one land hand. All right. Another ground. another hand from Ron where he's not oh, digging not for the lane line. You're on the play. Yeah, you can't risk a one land hand on the play. Hell no. That's bonkers. Hmm. Brought the EEs in just because of the I don't know, I'm a huge fan of the EEs, actually. Yeah, I don't know what they're for. I mean, he doesn't he has like one one drop. I guess yeah. He has the most two drops. But I don't, I don't know. You only saw one of them in the game one game. There's none in his hand right now, so <laughs> I guess he has the monkeys too, but all right, he's got a bolt, kind of stubby. Um, actually, one of the best feelings too is getting somebody with a a naked stubborn denial. <laughs> that also feels really good. <laughs> getting somebody with a force spike. Oh yeah, yeah. that feels great. <laughs> Done it many a time. Yeah. I think that's the uh, Zagoth Triome. Green, blue, black. Matt's holding up some counter magic. I believe. Mm. Nope. Changes his mind. He said, this will not do. <laughs> Well, and then he changes his mind again. 
he's reconsidering. Good thing this is an F and M. Why don't you just like show him your whole deck? <laughs> like, right. like, <laughs> ah. And then he rests on his initial decision. That is the a bit about a you know deck like this. You gotta be savvy with your uh, land choices. I really miss that about the five color deck. I feel like that companion is so stupid. I feel like that's <laughs> yeah, it's just a free five five. <laughs> it's so yeah. dumb. Like yeah. that card's like never been good. Like like nobody's ever cast that card against me, and I've been like, oh god, I'm dead to the dead no to this five five now. No, it's just it's just that you get a five five just because. Yeah. Like, I, the 5-5 five is a 5-5. Five five. I mean... I get it. I, I know, like, all the pros would totally do it. I probably would just, you know, use um, that sideboard sock or something else. I, I would, too. <laughs> For me, it's out of I principle. Would, honestly, I'm terrible with companions anyway. I would never remember that it existed. Yeah. And so it would never <laughs> right. go to my hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right. I don't know. It's kind of a weird hand for Ron. Matt not drawing lands is not good for him. Got no aggression from Ron. He kind of needs that. He's going to feel really bad here as he starts drawing these lane lines. With nothing to pitch him to. He might be able to just like you know, play it. I feel like I mean he'll be able to play it. I Which, feel like I mean, uh, it just doesn't mean as much at that point. No, it doesn't mean shit. It's it's only there if, if you're opening. Um, I feel like maybe like this deck could play a couple endurances in the main to like be able to pitch those because it's like an aggressive. Yeah, but you don't really anyway. want to just like pitch something to it. Like no, you know. no, it's just backup plan. Like it's just a, some use for it. All right. Breeding pool. He's got all the colors, all the stuffs. What's he going to do with it? Cavu? No, Draco. All right, tap out for that counter spell and get stubby deed. Well, this scion is very protected in at least one exchange. Oh, what's he got? He's die. got the. He's gonna die, John. No, he's got stubborn denial in hand. That ain't doing shit. Oh, man, Matt knew. <laughs> Matt and he Matt has to land and play it. So brutal. I don't know if he had a counter spell to I come don't back, but think he does either. But I mean, K not definitely knew it was safe. <laughs> All right, he's going to fetch for land and then play the thing. That would feel good. Play what, the ley line? Yeah. I mean, I guess if he was going to do it, he should have done it before combat. So I, I'm assuming he's not. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking about it before combat, basically. Yeah. Oh, well, there's two of them, so... Okay, yeah, that's, that's probably good. a better play than playing out a stupid ley line that doesn't do anything. Well, it would here because it would then immediately give Scion all the shit. Right, right. Yeah. I'm saying second Scion's probably just yeah. an infinitely better yeah, play. Yeah. So, like, good, no, exactly. Good, He's good job staring, by, uh, staring down game. these two four four flyers is pretty rough right now for this is it deck that. I mean, he has the he's got the thing right the the flames, so. You got some decent interaction for these guys, but it's not very efficient. We got more counter magic. I think here. Ron might have another stubborn denial. Oh, he does. Oh, God. Oh, that's bad. Oh, Matt, you're dead. Ha, ha, ha. Play your lands before you get spells, Matt. Matt, you are dead. And he's got ley line. He's just chilling. He's got, uh, he eight, got all point, shit. eight points of burn in his hand just and eight hand. points of uh, on the battlefield. So lots of... Uh, Lots of damage coming at Matt in the next turn cycle. Yeah. But right now there's one coming at Kana so that he can fetch. Hmm. 
I feel like Ron's pretty safe here. Get in for eight. Take him down to six. And that's pretty much fucking dead. <laughs> I think Matt might know it. Those that ley line, it has every color. It's technically every color, right? Yeah, yeah. Like so, you're talking about pitch pull things. Force negation would be a yeah solid yeah. option or yeah subtlety or something like that. Yeah, well, that's why I said endurance because like yeah. it's relevant. Well, and just the, endurance and doesn't give you anything. Like, like, like just pitching two cards to exile somebody's graveyard well, just doesn't really. No, do no, I I get that, but I mean. The meta, like it's in just the, not a very sexy card in to, living end and shit. I mean, like, it's I'm just saying it's it's meta relevant, is why I went to endurance and it's a three yeah. four for three, which is what this deck is, is just aggressive beaters. That's why I went there, yeah. And it's base green, like, this deck is predominantly green. And there it is, bliggity black. All right, well, that that's fast. how that's how a match should go, right there. Like <laughs> yeah. just in and out, right? You know, sure. It's like uh, fucking beat down. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right, well, uh, domain without ley lines, still good. All right, look at that. Well, um, we're gonna be between rounds this bitch, so see you for round three. Yep. <laughs> um,